Now I am calibrating my pH meter and I put it in the solution and now I'm using the screwdriver to change it to 7. So after trying to calibrate my pH meter, I've realized that it is malfunctioning and it is doing one less than what it's supposed to read. So in my calculations, I'm going to add one to each reading to get as close to the correct number as possible. Now I'm going to mix the KOH with 250 milliliters of distilled water. So now that I have my 5 milliliters of vinegar and my 50 milliliters of water, I'm going to add 2 to 4 drops of the indicator. Now that it's swirled around, I'm going to measure the pH. And it's reading 2.3. So like I said, um, my pH meter is one below what it should be, so I'm going to record that as 3.3. So now that my barrette is clean and ready to go, I'm going to rinse it with two milliliters of my titrant. Now that my barrette has been rinsed and it's ready to go, I am going to add the titrant until it gets to be a little. So now that I have everything set up and ready to go, I am going to slightly open the valve and let my titrant start dripping out. to do the drops. I'm going to stir. So I think it's definitely past the end point. Um, it's a little dark. Now I have everything all set up and ready for trial two. So here we go. Starting, oh, I need my pH meter. Alright, so the, the pH is at a 4.5. Okay, so I'm going reached our end point and the pH is 7.5 and we are at 39 and a half milliliters now that I've reached the end point I'm gonna add a few more drops just to get more data
Now for the final trial, trial three. Um, we are at zero milliliters of our titrant and the pH is at a 3.8. So we're gonna start And we went over, so we were at 37 and the pH is a 